As Shavuos approaches each year, I am very often asked about the issue of davening and timing for the first night of Yom Tov. It's very widespread practice to wait until nightfall, which is around 10 o'clock, very late in London and much later still if you're further north, to begin Mariv, make Kiddush and eat the meal. So where does this come from? If you look in the Gomorrah, the Roshonim, even as far as the Shulchan Aruch, there is no reference to this practice whatever, and it would appear to have been no, treated no differently from any other Shabbos or Yom Tov, when it is permissible from Plaga Mincha in London, just before 7.30 at this time of the year, to Dav and Mariv, make Kiddush and eat the meal. There's a big gap between that and the common practice, which if you open the Mishnah Brewer, is cited as though it were the only acceptable practice. To justify the practice, the word Timimos is cited. In the reference to Sfirasa Omer, counting of the Omer in Parshas Emor, the days are to be and the weeks to be Timimos, they have to be complete. And this is cited as justification for waiting until the 49 days are complete, not to begin Shavuos. So until the 49th day is over, at nightfall, one should not begin Shavuos. But this is a later construct and it is unknown to the Roshonim and even to the early Achronim. It first appears in the thinking, apparently, although he left no writings, of Rabbi Yaakov Pollock, a senior Poisic in Poland, who had a strong influence on the Shalom HaKodesh, who makes some reference to the practice and promoted it. Interestingly, this idea, Tamimos, is quoted as though it was a Chazal, but it isn't. In terms of halachic constructs, one has to wait till the Magain Avrom, quote, commenting on the Shulchan Aruch in the 18th century, who says that one should wait until nightfall to make Kiddush as a nod to this practice, although he makes no mention of Mariv and presumably permits one to daven Mariv earlier. Then the Taz, very slightly later, says, and one should not daven Mariv until nightfall. And then the Mishnah Bro and other sources cite that most Mahmir position as though it were the only one and there's certainly some merit in fulfilling it, but it's important to understand that this practice can cause a great deal of inconvenience and it can cause leniencies, particularly if one ruling for congregants who may ne then not eat a proper Yom Tov meal um, and in fact be so tired that they can't actually perform Yom Tov properly or learn at all. Indeed, Rabbi Yaakov Emden, writing in his notes to the Siddur, said it's a very weak practice and it has many disadvantages because it has no basis in early sources. So, while without question it is a Minag Yisrael and a widely, widely practiced, something rather exciting, it was probably um, practiced in places where nightfall was rather earlier. And it can be disregarded altogether if it causes inconvenience, as was clearly common practice um, before Rabbi Yaakov Pollock and the Shalah. Options might be to take a pragmatic view as to what constitutes nightfall if one wants to give a nod to the practice. So one could define nightfall for this purpose as shkia, a sunset, and not make kiddush until sunset. Um, that's what I recommend for my community, although I acknowledge there are those who will prefer to start earlier, and it's, quite, it's really fine based on the earlier sources. Um, another option might be not to make kiddush until an earlier definition of nightfall, say 20 minutes after, sun, after sunset, which in London this year is about 9.04 sunset on the first night of Shavuos. So there you have it. Tamimos is a later construct. It's fulfillment of what is a well-known practice, but has no early sources, and there are many reasons for being lenient if you need.